What's up guys, I'm Reckless and welcome to Guardian Watcher. It's Tuesday, which means it's time for the weekly reset, so let's go over all of the new milestones for this week as well as the gear that is available. Now, real quick, Faction Rally has returned, so now you guys can go ahead and pledge your allegiance to one of the three factions. So, starting with the milestones, we have Choose a Faction, which pledge your loyalty to one of the city factions. Okay, sounds easy. Then we have uh, Flashpoint on Nessus, which you need to complete public events on Nessus, and by doing the heroic versions, it'll complete this a lot faster. Then we have the Nightfall, which complete the weekly Nightfall Strike. This week's Nightfall is the Inverted Spire. Modifiers on that are Momentum and Time Warp Rings, and we have 11 minutes and 58 seconds to do that. Next, we do have the Leviathan, which is the Fire of the Cabal Emperor in the Leviathan Raid. Then we have Call to Arms, which is Win Glory by participating in the Crucible matches. Then we have Clan XP, which you earn Clan XP in Strikes, Raids, the Crucible, and or <laughs> World Activities. So, going to the Nightfall real quick. Uh, like I said, we do have Momentum, which Health and Shield Regeneration are disabled while standing still. Sprint to regenerate more quickly. Then we have Time Warp Rings, which Vex Time Gates have appeared in the area pass through them to discharge temporal energy and extend the mission timer. So let's actually go find out what we have new at the tower. So let's see what Tess Everest has at the Eververse Trading Company, or just Eververse. So as for our emotes, we have the good idea as well as flip out. This is what the good idea looks like. This is what Flip Out is. Next we have the Soul uh, Velocity, which is a uh, speeder. Comes with a wonderful random perk. Then we have the Helio Strain ship. Looks pretty decent, I guess. Then we have the Spectral Gain ship. We have the uh, Comstock Load, which is an ornament for the Prospector. Looks pretty decent. Then we have Beware the Red Legion for the Skyburner's Oath. I might actually want one of these. As for the Armor Piece of the Week, we have the Robes of Optimacy, which is a chess piece. Don't mind all the uh, yellow and gray accents. We're just looking at the chess piece here. Then we have the blue moon shell. As well as the aggressive shell. Once again, those come with random mods. Then we have the uh, noble constant red. Arctic Pearl. And then the uh, Cerulean Divide. And the last but not least, we have your Fire Team Medallion, which you cannot preview. So let's go see what the factions have now. Starting off with Future War Cults. If you pledge your allegiance to Future War Cult, you will be able to get the Timelines Vertex, which is a legendary fusion rifle. This has Adaptive Frame, Spark PS, Torch HS3, Enhanced Battery, Accelerated Coils, as well as Snapshot Sights. As for Dead Orbit, you're interested in survival. If we win, we get the uh, Truth Teller, which is a grenade launcher. This has lightweight frame, confined launch, linear compensator, hard launch, uh, concussion grenades, black powder, and quick draw. Hmm. Last but not least, we do have New Monarchy. And they actually have a wonderful sword for us called Honor's Edge. This sword has adaptive frame, 
Tempered Edge, Jagged Edge, Burst Guard, Enduring Guard, as well as Enguard A. Hmm. Okay. Truthfully, out of all the weapons, I really think that the Future War Cult weapon probably is best, because it's a Fusion Rifle, um, out of the three at least. In the end, let's not forget our good friend K6. Hey, hey. And make sure you guys go ahead and grab these treasure maps. Treasure map is on Nessus. So, yeah, by all means, go ahead and grab these. I am broke <laughs> if I even purchase one of these. But even then, I still have the treasure maps from last week that I still haven't even looked for. So, yeah, it's definitely getting pretty bad here now. And that, fellow Guardians, brings us to the end. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and share it. Subscribe and turn on notifications for more Destiny content. Feedback is always appreciated. Thank you guys for all of your support. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.